I was told a story by one of our immigration officials who was there when Katada finally got on the plane. As the official signed off the last of the paperwork, Katada looked at him and asked, is Crazy May flying with me? <laughs> I admit I was crazy. Crazy with the European Court of Human Rights. And I know I wasn't the only one. Here was a foreign terror suspect, wanted for the most serious crimes in his home country. And we were told time and time again, thanks to human rights law, we couldn't deport him. Despite the seriousness of the case against him, despite assurances from Jordan, and despite our own court saying he should be deported, the European court moved the goalposts and blocked his deportation on entirely unprecedented grounds. So we went back to the drawing board, and after months of negotiations, we agreed the treaty that finally secured Katada's deportation. And I would like everyone here to show their appreciation to James Brokenshaw, the security minister, for his role in getting that treaty. But it's ridiculous that the British government should have to go to such lengths to get rid of dangerous foreigners. That's why the next Conservative manifesto will promise to scrap the Human Rights Act. <laughs> it's why Chris Grayling is leading a review of our relationship with the European Court. And it's why the Conservative position is clear. If leaving the European Convention is what it takes to fix our human rights laws, that is what we should do. Now, those are issues for the general election, when Labour and the Lib Dems will have to explain why they value the rights of terrorists and criminals more than the rights of the rest of us. In the meantime, we need to do all we can now to limit the damage.